Right now in Toronto, it's one degree and sunny. Today, it'll be partly cloudy, with a forecasted high of six and a low of one. Good morning, good morning. Welcome to a day in my life with the M2 Pro MacBook Pro. This product was actually sent to me from Apple directly for review. Uh, so I'm very excited to go ahead and test this out. This is actually my first time Apple has actually sent me something for review. And I just kind of wanted to extend my thanks to you guys. Thank you for supporting my channel and you know, helping me get to this point because I didn't think that this was going to happen so soon. You can probably just tell by the grin on my face that I was so excited to unbox this laptop when I got it just a couple of days ago and to test it out in this video. Right now we're just on our morning walk here outside in by Sugar Beach in Toronto. We're gonna go ahead and take some pictures. I like to take some morning pictures and post on Twitter with my iPhone or Pixel 7 Pro. And we're actually gonna edit them directly on the MacBook Pro outside to kind of test out the display brightness, how it works outside, and you know, kind of like bright sunlight conditions. All right, so we just finished taking some pictures off the iPhone. We're gonna load them up now on the computer and try to do some editing outside. I will say that in direct sunlight, you can see the MacBook Pro screen. It does look a little bit dim, but it's still perfectly usable with that 1000 nits of peak brightness. It's nowhere near as bright as an iPhone screen, like using an iPhone outside is it's much clearer and you actually can see more color but this actually isn't bad at all considering how sunny it is outside. I wanted to move into like actual shade, not in direct sunlight, because we're not always gonna be working in direct sunlight. And the MacBook Pro in a more shaded setting outside is not only usable, it's not only passable, it actually works quite well. That 1000 nits of brightness actually really allows you to see the colors on the screen and to actually get some real editing done on the computer. I also just wanna take a moment to appreciate the silver color here of the MacBook Pro. I'm a huge fan of it. I actually was always someone who would buy my MacBooks in space gray. I have nothing against that color, but after seeing just how good this silver color looks on this computer, I sort of regret getting space gray. It just really pops off and I'm, I'm a huge fan of it. And I would actually recommend it over space gray if you wanted my personal opinion of MacBook Pro aesthetics. You probably have been thinking something this whole video and it's totally okay, you're allowed to think that and that's the fact that my hair is an absolute mess. Every morning when I wake up for these day in the life vlogs, it just looks like a like a crap shoot up there. <laughs> I promise I'm gonna wash my hair soon, but I need to eat and work out first. Not sure what I wanna do first though. I'm, I'm kinda hungry, but I also kinda wanna get a workout out of the way. Decisions. Dust and fire, you're touching the way you move, you hypnotize me with your lips. You yeah, so I decided to eat first. I am so hungry, and this looks delicious. It's all One of my favorite things to do is just make a good breakfast and consume some MBA in the morning off the MacBook Pro. My favorite team is the Toronto Raptors because I'm from the city of Toronto. Trent Jr. looking. Gary looks. He takes it. Go! Gary Trent Jr. You know, I do watch pretty much all the other games. I just love watching the highlights and seeing what's going on in the game right now. And I love doing that on the MacBook Pro because the speakers are just fantastic. They're so full and loud. It honestly surprises me all the time how good these speakers are. They do support Dolby Atmos and spatial audio if you do consume any content that does support that. And it actually works pretty well. And then the display indoors. Like I did talk about the display outside, how the brightness actually works quite well in direct sunlight, as well as in some shade but it works fantastic when you're indoors. The colors look amazing. The million to one contrast ratio is awesome. You got a beautiful liquid retina XDR display that just, like every time I use this computer, I'm just blown away like by how good the colors look every single time. Like it, it it's never gets old for me. Yoga always feels so good. 
highly recommend to do often. It's great. <laughs> So before we continue our day in the life with the MacBook Pro, I'm actually going to take a nap. And I wanted to include this in the video very specifically because I want anybody watching this video to never let anybody tell them that taking a nap makes them lazy, makes them mean that there's something wrong with them or they didn't get enough sleep. There is so much research behind why napping is good for you. If you're interested in looking them up and why, just type in Andrew Huberman or Matt Walker on Google with the word nap and tons of good research will come up. Anyways, good night. Right now we're gonna spend some time with an artist you've been coming back to a lot. It's Justin Bieber. All right, so the hair is all fixed now for you guys. Hopefully it looked a little bit more presentable. Um, but I just realized I never told you guys about the spec that I'm using that Apple sent over for review. It is the M2 Pro model with the 12 core CPU and the 19 core GPU with 32 gigs of RAM and two terabytes of SSD. So this is an almost fully specced out model. Like you can't get a better M2 Pro chip than this one that Apple sent. Um, and I can tell like this thing flies through everything that I throw at it. And, and like even right now, I'm gonna be doing some work within Lightroom because I'm working on a wallpaper pack that I'm gonna be dropping very soon. Super excited to share that with you, but I can't give too many details yet. Um, it's gonna be wallpapers for the iPhone and Android phones that I just wanted to share with you guys that I created. I think you guys are gonna really gonna like them. They're gonna be about 99 cents or $1.99, so it's not gonna be much, less than a cup of coffee. I want everybody to be able to afford this. And then I'm also gonna be working on Notion and Grammarly. Uh, I like to do that on my MacBook Pro because that's where I type out all of my scripting and planning for future video ideas and other scripts and things like that that I need to work on for the week because I actually will be leaving for Florida next Thursday and I have a couple of videos that need to get done before I leave. So lots of planning that needs to be done today. And the specific MacBook Pro that Apple sent can handle all of these tasks extremely well, like virtually no slowdowns at all. Like this thing is a freaking beast for anything that I wanna do on this computer. Okay, so I just finished that work sprint on the MacBook Pro. Now it's time to take a little bit of a break because the sun is still out and I kinda wanna go outside again. It's really nice out today. And if you were wondering what my laptop was sitting on earlier when I was working. Okay, so before I tell you about that laptop bag, I have a literal drone flying inside of my house. I think I'm getting a little too excited here. Let's just get outside because I do want to fly that thing. Okay, so about that laptop bag sleeve thing. It kind of does a lot of things really well. It's this three-in-one laptop bag sent to me from Delta Hub, who were kind enough to partner with me on this video. This laptop bag truly does it all. It, it kind of works out to be something that I would want to take with me absolutely everywhere I go when I want to do work on my MacBook. In an instant, I can pull the string that turns this bag into a 15 degree angle workspace. So you get perfect ergonomics while working on this laptop on your lap. And it's no joke. I actually feel quite comfortable as I type. And then when I'm done working, it's as easy as lifting and sliding the MacBook back into the sleeve and is fully protected in there as well as inside of it is made of a microfiber material that's not gonna damage your laptop. And there's an extra two millimeter of foam layer added to ensure extra protection in case you drop the bag itself. On the back, it also features a slim back pocket for extra accessories like your power brick and charging cable. And you can throw this sleeve into your bag or you can also attach these adjustable nylon straps with metal hooks and turn it into a legit carrying bag that you can use to commute with on the go. Okay, wow, what a day. I'm actually running behind, at least for my schedule to watch the basketball game today. Raptors are playing. I do not miss a Raptors game. I love watching basketball. Uh, but right now, we gotta actually offload a bunch of footage from this camera, as well as other cameras that I struggle with today, including the drone, and put it on to this laptop here, the MacBook Pro. What's really good about this laptop is that it does have a built-in SD card slot, so we are able to just quickly transfer over camera files, which I really like. 
Um, I was not a fan of MacBook Pros without SD card slots, so this is super clutch. So I would say like around 80% of the time I use my MacBook Pro at a desk and I have it paired with the 5K Apple Studio display with the Logitech MX Keys Mini and the Logitech Master 3 mouse. I go into full details about my full desk setup in a video that I'll link down below. I just dropped that video a couple of days ago, so you'll have the most up-to-date look in detail about you know the exact desk that I would use for my MacBook Pro. But one thing that I really do like about this specific laptop as well as the previous generation is that it does support fast charging. So when I do plug in my studio display to the MacBook Pro, it's outputting 96 watts of power, which allows my MacBook to go from like zero to 100, or not zero to 100, zero to 50%, and I believe about 30 minutes. I might have to fact check that actually. So I just went on Apple's upside just to fact check and yeah, it actually is 50% battery in 30 minutes from zero to 50 if you pump 96 watts of power into this thing. So that is just incredible. Like, And to top it all off as well, I haven't really talked about battery life too much today because I don't even think about MacBook Pro battery life. Like it, this thing is built like a tank. It just lasts forever. I think if I do a battery check right now, it's at 67% and I just plugged it into my studio display not even like five minutes ago. So it, it couldn't have gotten that much more charge. So it's been a full day and I still have over 50% battery life. Hey, it's Future Taren here from the next day, just editing up this video on Final Cut Pro, the one that you're actually watching right now. Uh, brought to you in part by the iPhone 14 Pro camera 4K cinematic mode. Let me know what you guys think of the quality down below. But I wanted to actually take a moment to talk about the M2 Pro chip performance because I just spent the whole day creating this video that you're watching right now within Final Cut Pro. And I can say that I actually do notice a difference between this chip and the M1 Pro chip from my own MacBook Pro. I think Apple quotes around like a 15 to 20% performance increase depending on the task that you're doing. And I do feel that difference, but it really only is in those edge cases. Like with my older MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip, it was fast like 99.9999% of the time. It only started to have slowdowns and hiccups and just like kind of freezes when I would start pushing the computer to its absolute limits. And I'm here to say that with the M2 Pro chip, that boundary like has increased. I haven't had any slowdowns today. It's just been effortless creating this video right now. It's actually been a lot of fun using this computer. Um, so highly recommend if you're a creator, M2 Pro is such a capable chip with the 12 core and 19 core CPU and GPU model respectively. Just found time to put on the game and we are actually winning 38, 26. Because I was so caught up with filming this day in the life today, I completely forgot about feeding myself tonight. Didn't do any groceries, had nothing to cook for dinner, so I gotta do takeout. And I'm not I'm not sure what to eat. Oh, what a day. Honestly, what a freaking day. Um, I'm just so happy to be in bed now and enjoy the Raptors game on my MacBook Pro. And I don't even think I've really talked about this, but this laptop is actually really light. Like I'm surprised how light it continues to be uh, for a Pro machine because the MacBook Air, that's not a Pro machine and that's a very lightweight laptop as we all know, but I don't miss the weight of the MacBook Air. Like the MacBook Pro to me uh, is still very slim, very portable, and um, I think this is as close to perfect when it comes to engineering uh, for a laptop in my opinion. So if you've been a follower of my Dan Life reviews for tech, you know just how much I love my end of day baths and we're gonna get to that soon. But I have another thing I want to comment about with the MacBook Pro, and that is for anybody who's on the fence about buying a MacBook in general. If you're somebody that's in school or you're a student or you just don't have any demanding needs for a computer, you're just more of a basic kind of user, 
The MacBook Air is the kind of the default go-to for you, but let's say you do need a pro computer and you do know you need more power, I think like 90% of you guys watching this video are gonna be perfectly happy getting the M2 Pro model, which is the one that I have right here. You're better off saving your money instead of buying the M2 Max and putting that extra savings towards more RAM or more storage because that's the kind of things that actually make an impact on how good your computer is gonna work across a lot of different applications and utilities. I think the only time you should get the M2 Max is if you know you need more graphical power because the M2 Max and the M2 Pro, they're the same CPU. Like the only difference is in the graphical core count. So if you have a really like niche, really heavy graphical workload, then you know that's you and you're gonna go ahead and buy an M2 Max already. But if you're debating whether or not you need an M2 Max, you probably don't need one. One quick thing though, if you've made it to this exact point in the video, comment down below hashtag I made it. That way I know you've watched the entire video. You are a goat, you're a rock star. Thank you so much for finishing the video. Here's another video right here if you haven't caught up with all my videos yet and I'll catch all of you guys in the next one. Peace.